Hey guys, welcome back to another Makeup Monday. Um, today I'm gonna go through an Ipsy haul that I've been waiting to do for you guys. So I have November, December, and January bags as well as a little bit of extra stuff that I bought. So we're gonna go right into it. We're gonna start with December and work our way up to the purchased things. So in here we have my November bag. So here is the little makeup bag. I don't think I have a card for that month, but we'll see. Um, Cause I did like open it and make sure everything was I got in here was fine. I just haven't played with anything. But my November bag had originally gotten lost. So I had to ask them for a replacement. It was a lot. Um, so they kind of just like sent me the items. Yeah, I don't have a card, like it's not inside the makeup bag. Um, but I did get my items. So the card is like the least of my worries. Um, I do think the bag is really cute. I feel like I might give this one to my mom cause she's all about the animal prints and she'll really enjoy this one. So I got a highlighting brush from um, Moda which I like their brushes a lot. I have another different highlighting brush from them, which is their precision angle. I use this as a highlight brush all the time. I could probably use it as like a contour as well, but um, sometimes I'll use that to highlight like my nose and under my brows. Um, then I got a sample size of Mary Duminizer from the, um, the Balm which their highlighters are awesome. And I was excited about that one. Then I have a blush from Lovecraft Beauty in the shade Dauphine, um, which looks like it's probably gonna be a really nice, more orange shade. Then from Verso, I have a hydration serum. So I'll let you guys know how this is. Um, and then the last thing in this bag is It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, um, which I always love a new moisturizer. So I was pretty excited about this one when I saw that I was getting it in my bag. And it's basically an anti-aging cream that's super moisturizing. Okay, come on. Ooh, it smells kind of, um, kind of citrusy if that makes any sense. And I was over here like twisting this and it literally, you just pull it off. But you live and you learn. Um, so we'll swatch the highlight here and the blush and then I'll check out the serum in a second. Ooh, I kind of like the applicator. It's like a really long angle Joe foot. So put that right there. Ooh, ooh. That's really pretty. That's like really, really pretty. Like you can see how blinding it is. And I didn't like re-dip, I just took what was on here and kept spreading it out. So probably I could highlight both sides of my face, my nose, my Cupid's bow, and my little chin moment with like one dip in. And that's also like, there's still product on the other side of the doe foot. So that's impressive. I like that. The blush, let's see how she looks. Get the unicarton open. Oh, there's blush powder. Please don't be broken. Oh God, this is hard with my nails. I'm also scared that it's broken. Oh, okay. All right, it did break a little bit. There's a little, little chip in the corner. This is a really pretty like natural looking blush. Let me just angle that down so we're not blinding you with my light. Um, it's really soft. I like that. Ooh, that is a really nice, this is like a good everyday blush. Let's see. Yeah, this would be like this is probably gonna be my go-to everyday blush. Like, look at how soft and peachy that is. With this together, a nice natural everyday look. 
I'm here for that for sure. And then we have the serum. So let's see what it smells like. It smells kind of good. I feel like I've had hair products that smell like this. Oh, it's like a milky colored serum. So it's why is my ring spinning around? It's this little dot right here. So we'll see how it feels. Ooh. Oh, that feels really nice. And it's really moisturizing. Like my hand was pretty dry because I had, um, I had makeup on the back of my hand from doing my face and I had to clean it off with a makeup wipe and I don't have lotion on. Um, so, you can pretty, I think you could probably see the difference. This hand is not moisturized in this one. I have the serum on the top. It feels really good and it's soaked into my skin really easily. I like that. That was really nice. And then we have the brush, which I'm sure is going to be super soft because the other brushes I have from Moda are. I love this grippy handle, by the way. This stuff, it doesn't seem like something that would matter, but it does. Oh, it's so soft. It's so fluffy. I definitely have been wanting a brush like this for highlight. There's like this one straight hair right there that's driving me crazy, but I've been wanting a brush for highlight like this, a big floofy one. So um, it's similar to the one that I have in my Game of Thrones set that my friend got me that's like big floofy dome, but this one has more of like an even more curved shape to it. So I'm, I think I will like this a lot, but I'll let you guys know. So we'll get into the next bag, which is gonna be my December bag. Okay, so in here, I have my December bag. Um, this one, I think there's a brush in here too, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, so this one, Uh, it's another highlight brush from Complex Culture Beauty. So let's see how this works, how this looks. Ooh, this is like a fancy brush. Why do all of, I have so many brushes that have this problem specifically that it's gonna drive me crazy. There's one little stray hair right there. It's driving me crazy already. Um, I'll probably get tweezers and pluck that hair out, but this is really nice. It's super soft. And I just love like the aesthetic of the brush. It's like such a clean and simple design. It matches my nails. <laughs> Um, but it's really pretty. The packaging is also really nice. Um, and it comes with a little plastic sheath. So this is probably going to be my touch up my highlight on the go brush because it has a cover. So I might, this might live in my purse, which is totally fine with me. But yeah, even like the packaging for the brush. It was, this is like very luxe. Like it's nice cardstock with like the gold writing. It's kind of pretty. And then this is the December bag. So it was super shiny and silver. This month I did have a card. So it was like sparkle, shimmer and shine. Um, Cause it's supposed to be like in prepare of ringing in the new year. So, and We'll see what else I got in here. Okay. So I have my card so I can tell you what everything is. I have an H2O plus Oasis hydrating treatment, tipsy lip crush lip oil, um, which, oh, it's a pH sensitive lip oil. So it'll go on your perfect pink. Um, Aromatica Rose Absolute First Serum. Um, 
which is meant, it's a toner and serum together. So it will tackle two steps in one. The thing is literally like, oversleep and need to speed through your routine. This will tackle two steps in one. Then it was the brush. And then I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Ave Princess, which I think that was the item that I picked for my bag. So this is the lip oil. Um, let's see how this smells. I'm, I can swatch it, but I don't know what good that's gonna do us. <laughs> Ooh. It smells kind of like candy. I'm gonna swatch it. I don't know what's gonna happen if it'll do anything on my arm. I mean, I'm sure my arm skin has a pH. So we'll see. We'll see what color that turns. <laughs> it went on kind of like a sheer-ish pink and it's getting a little bit pinker. It's right underneath the blush right there. Um, yeah, it got a little pink. Um, Cause it goes on like, it's kind of a sheer pink in the tube and it's getting a little bit more pink on my arm, but I'll leave that there and see if it changes anymore, but that might be all it gets. I don't know how reactive it would be. And then this is the water gel moisturizer, the Oasis hydrating treatment. And basically you would use this after cleansing and toning, you would massage onto your face neck area. Let's see how it smells. Oh, it has a little thing. Ah, oh, it's blue. It's like the Neutrogena one. Okay, let's see. I'll put that one on this side. So let's see how this one feels. It blends in really, it's really hydrating. Like it feels so silky and smooth. It also just kind of like has a really clean smell to it. So that's a good thing. And then we have, I'll get the serum out of the way now also, which that is an interesting, it's an interesting consistency. I'm intrigued. Also update on the lip, lip oil, look at how pink that got. Now, obviously it's probably gonna wear a different shade of pink on my face because I highly doubt that my arm and my lip have the same pH, but you never know. Okay, this one has a little thing on it too. Ow. Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. Oh, it made a little like pop when I opened it. Okay, so I'm gonna just go like get some of this on my hand and I'll do it on this side of this hand that didn't really get any of the moisturizer. That's really okay. So it's like, it is a gel, but it's not, it's very, very watery, but feels really good. It smells like rose water. Um, I like it though. It has like a little bit of a tackiness to it as it, rubbed into my skin and it smells like rose water, which I use on it as part of my skincare routine too. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we still have the bronzer to take a look at. So let's put this stuff in the bag. Okay, so bronzer. Let's see. Okay, so it's the same cute little packaging as the blushes, but it's tan for bronzer. So I can tell it apart and this is the size of the pan. This seems like a really cute bronzer. We'll put this right over here. Oh, this is a light enough bronzer. I might be able to use it on my best friend, Kitty, who is super duper pale. That's a really pretty bronzer, but it's very, it's very light. So it's, that's a good thing. I don't really have a bronzer like that where I could use it to like cut her 
without um without it being too dark for her skin so that's a great thing um and that's it for the december bag so now we have to get into the january cool so i'm back with the january bag so in here we have <laughs> more brushes for highlighting <laughs> and the whole bag so i love this bag and it's like pink and marble um so i got a luxie <laughs> highlighting brush Um, so I have this really nice fan brush. Let's see if I can get it out of the thing. Aha! So it's a medium fan brush from Luxie. It's super soft. Oh, I love their brushes. I have a bunch of their brushes from Ipsy. I want to say like th three or four, including this one now. Um, more than that because I have the blush brush too. I have a bunch of brushes from Luxie thanks to my Ipsy subscription and I like this one too. And you can't go wrong with a good fan because this doesn't have to be for highlighting. I can use it to clean off um, fallout when I'm applying my eyeshadow, which is literally the story of my life. So I'm really excited about that. And let's get into the January bags. Let me pull out the card. Um, so this one is Clean Slate. Um, so we have, I have a Peerless Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk, the fan brush I just showed you guys, Too Faced Cosmetics Hangover Replenishing Face Primer, Araceli Beauty Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner in Night Noche, um, which looks like it's just like a black eyeliner, and um, Kiate London Glow to Illuminating Blush in Date Night, which is, that's the item I picked for this bag. Um, okay, so the eyeliner is full size, and then everything else is deluxe samples. So we have Too Faced, and then we have everything else. So I'm, in, I'm interested in this eyeliner, so we're going to take a look at that first. I like the packaging. It's a felt tip. It gets really, it's really, really small felt tip though. Um, and the packaging is really nice. It's got a nice weight to it. So I'm sure there's a decent amount of <laughs> eyeliner in here. And we're just gonna draw a line here and see. Ooh. Okay, so it's felt, but it's lo like loaded. This is really black and it gets really like, if I didn't put a lot of weight, look at how small that second line is. Like if I'm not putting a lot of weight, you can get a really thin, precise flick with this. So um, that's a winner for me. Look at how freaking dark that is. We'll see how that dries down, but holy crap. All right. Brand I've never heard of, but am now intrigued about. Like, that's incredible. And it's already dried down. It doesn't smudge. That's awesome. I like this. All right. Then we'll take a look at the blush, which I was excited about this color. All right, hang on. Come on, Unicard, and don't be like this. Don't be like this. Okay, cool. Got it. <laughs> Come on. Get out. There we go. Okay. Oh no, there are little flicks of blush. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Ooh, it's so cute. It looks like it should be dessert. Like, that's dessert. So let's see. It's supposed to be illuminating, which definitely looks like it is. And we'll put that right there. Ooh, that's cute. I'm loving these little like baby shades that I'm getting because these are like blushes that I don't have. So that's a really soft pink, which, and it has just enough, like I could use that as a highlighter if I wanted to, which is really cute. 
it's not overly pigmented, but just enough to get the job done, which is awesome. I love a good blush. Then we'll take a look at the Hangover RX um, hydrating primer, right? Yeah, face primer. Ooh, man down. <laughs> okay, so we're covering it from the floor. Um, I'll put it on the serum hand. It smells so good. Oh, that smells incredible. I've been getting really into hydrating primers because it's winter and my skin is really dry. Oh, that feels nice. It's not like overly tacky, but it definitely has like a stickiness to it. So you can tell like your foundation isn't going anywhere when you put this on which is awesome. Then the last thing in this bag is the cleansing milk, which I'm obviously not going to use because it's a cleanser, but let's give it a sniff um, and see what it's about. Okay, tweezers. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with these little seals. It's like, for safety purposes, they must exist, but for me and my nails, they are very hard to use. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's it's milky. Um, it smells kind of neutral. It doesn't really smell like anything crazy to me. Oh gosh. Um, what's in here? Soy milk, white tea, whole oat. Okay, that's definitely what it smells like. Like it smells like oatmeal. Yeah, it smells kind of like oatmeal, <laughs> um, which makes sense now that I look at the ingredients. Um, but yeah, I I like the um, the Candy Johnson set that I got in my FabFitFun from Peerless. So I'll let you guys know how this is because I'm actually going to try it out. Now let's get into the extras that I purchased, um, which isn't anything too crazy. I bought these two brushes, which in hindsight, had I known that I got this many highlighting brushes, I probably wouldn't have bought. But um, I got it because it's a Luxie Charm one. So there's this small contour brush. So I guess it's not really, it's more of a contouring brush set. Okay, there we go. I feel better about this now. Um, it's a Firma brush, which this I would probably use like either for eyeshadow or like to contour my nose. But this is a small contour brush, which is, it's very comfortable ergonomically to hold. And I like the way that the bristles are shaped. And of course it's Luxie and the, they're so soft. So that's part of my add-ons was these brushes. And then in this here box, is the other thing that I bought, which I love this like bright yellow foam that they used and I'm probably going to keep it <laughs> and find something else to use it with. But I ordered some Juno sponges from Ipsy because they had a really great deal. So it's the Rose um, Velvet sponge, the microfiber one. This is the Cloud makeup sponge. And then they had mini rosé velvet sponges, as well as this clean up your act solid cleansing bar that has a container, which means I can take this with me when I travel with my sponges, because that is always the problem I have, because I do clean my sponges after every use. And when you're traveling, it's a lot harder to do that than you would think if you don't have a tin to put your solid. And this is a big solid too. Like, oh, it smells really good. Hmm. I could live with my sponges smelling like that. But yeah, it's a really big solid. Like the Beauty Blender one is like half this size. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know how this works when I have to clean my sponges that I used today. <laughs> And um, I can't wait to try these out. So I want to feel how their microfiber one feels. Because I had a cheapy one a long time ago, a microfiber one when they first came out. 
And I, did, I actually really did genuinely like it, although it does take a little getting used to. It comes with a user guide. The do's and don'ts, how to clean it. Use the sponge wet or dry to apply makeup products. You can use it to apply pretty much anything. Um, but these don't expand as much like the microfiber ones. They don't get as big as the beauty blenders do. Like the beauty blenders double in size. And these, you pretty much just like squeeze it and submerge it and it'll soak in the water. And then you would, um, once it's soft and squishy and wet, like then you can use it like, and so it has tips. Um, spritz your favorite prep or setting spray onto the sponge for a dewy finish. Um, avoid product overload. Submerge your sponge underwater, squeeze out any excess to begin. Don't apply the foundation directly onto the sponge. It's better to apply it onto another surface than use light dabbing motions to transfer onto the skin. Use stippling and swiping motions to blend foundation or product onto the skin until the desired look is achieved. And then it has directions for how to clean it. So basically be gentle, use it, uh, run your sponge under warm water first to loosen product up off of it, then use, get a good lather, gently squeeze and lightly rub until all product is removed and the water runs clear. Don't vigorously scrub or rub product off the sponge. Don't use any textured brush cleaning tra contraptions. It will tear the sponge. Don't submerge and leave the sponge in water. Very helpful guide. <laughs> so I'll have to let you guys know how this is. And I love how cute the packaging is, to be honest. Like, look at this. It's so cute. And it's also like... I thought it once the sponge is completely dry, like it's a really great sanitary storing option. Cause it's like, if it's not wet and you put it in here, it's going to stay clean. Then we have the cloud sponge, which this one is actually, oh, was I supposed to rip that one too? No, okay. <laughs> this one is actually like, it's longer. So it has like a tear thing. So you can open it more easily but I don't feel like that just helped at all. It doesn't feel like that helped, but we, we did it anyway. Okay, so this one has like a little plastic holder and no instructions. <laughs> Cause it's a regular spot. Ooh, I like the shape of this. I thought it just had like the one flat side, but it's also really, chiseled here so i think this would be really good like for cutting your contour or like this side the lightly slanted side would be really good for getting under your eye oh i like this one. Oh, i think i just got my mascara to flake all over the place i like this and it's so soft the name is adequate it's latex free, which is important. I like this. It's so soft. Okay. I'm excited about that one. I can't wait to use that. That, that felt really pretty. Like I just, I wasn't expecting to be wowed by how a sponge felt. <laughs> um, so that was interesting. <laughs> And then we have the little sponges, the mini rosé microfibers, which are also incredible for under eye situations. Come on, let me get in there. Okay. And then since it's microfiber, these come with the same little user guide so you can figure out how to use them. But look at how little they are. They're so small. Oop, almost dropped it. <laughs> Like, these are the perfect size for getting under your eye. Like, look at how, apply a little highlight. 
these are great for like keep one in your bag for touch-ups like oh my foundation is starting to separate mm. Mm. oh my highlights looking a little blah dust it on blend it in yeah i like this this is really fucking cute i and it's so funny because when the little like beauty blender ones came out i was like oh yeah whatever like what's the point I get it now. <laughs> I totally get it now. Um, so that's it for my Ipsy haul of things. Um, now that I'm caught up on my Ipsy bags with you guys, I'll be opening them once a month when they're received. So February's bag will be alone in February. We're not gonna wait three months to open it again. Um, so you guys will get monthly Ipsy updates and I might be unboxing, uh, my best friend's boxy charm soon. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we'll see. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. Cause she has a, a bunch of subscriptions also. So if you're interested in seeing those, let me know. Or if there's a subscription you do want to see, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, love you very much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back next Monday with more. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't do all of those things anyway, it's for 